Hi, I'm Adam Borland, and you're watching and reading Celebrity Interviews. Hi, Adam. Hi. At what age did you start taking dance classes? Well, it was about uh, 11 years old when I decided that I wanted to act, and I had done soccer and gymnastics and never stuck to something, and my father actually was looking in the paper and saw this Cats camp, and it was a summer program, and you do excerpts of the Broadway show Cats. Uh, Chris and Shanna Sell uh, just uh, recently had their first child, and they came to Newport Ritchie um, and did the program, and I was 11, and uh, they were on Broadway and on tour with Cats and the Rockettes uh, for over 10 years, so I was really blessed to meet them, and they actually decided to open a dance studio, uh, Sells Broadway Dance Company, and I was the first student uh, that they called. So it's pretty cool how it worked out, and it all started with my father looking in the paper and seeing their ad. What does dance mean to you? Uh, I can very selfishly answer this question, but I choose to, um, in all my dancing, I choose to glorify the Lord and really um, use the gifts that He's given me to uh, further His kingdom. Who are your inspirations? Well, I guess I have to say Chris and Shanna Sell. <laughs> I have many teachers, Peter Stark, uh, Bruce Marks, Ben Stevenson, so many that I can name. Um, Heather Orzachuk, uh, Kate O'Connell. There's so many people that have poured into my life, but um, I would not be dancing if uh, Chris and Shanna did not uh, find me. So they have to be a big inspiration. What is your favorite type of dance to learn and watch? Well, I did professional ballet for seven years, um, and I did it uh, for, I've been doing it just ballet for over 10 years. But right now, I'm really enjoying uh, learning musical theater and jazz uh, because I've been out of it so long and I'm getting back into it. And um, I'm excited to uh, grow and become a different dancer. But ballet will always have a special place in my heart and I will always love to watch it. But um, for right now, I'm taking some time off for ballet. Which is more challenging, a solo or a group dance? solo. I have done um, a lot of solos in my life, um, but definitely solo. Definitely solo because you uh, have the ability in a group to maybe hide a bit, um, but, uh, but in a solo it's just you on stage and you have to captivate the audience for two to three minutes straight. So it's really, really difficult. Do you remember your first dance competition in solo? The first solo, I want to say, was Peasant Pa from Giselle. And I did Youth America Grand Prix in uh, Tampa, Florida. And, um, yeah, I did it, and it was really good, and I ended up going to New York. Um, some of the people watching this um, might know the um, Netflix uh, movie about it, um, first position. So I was ap actually able to be a part of that um, in its younger years. What has been your favorite solo or group dance you have done and why? Um, I have done a lot of dances in my life, but actually most recently I performed in Orlando at National Dance Day. I was invited to do a solo and my friend, uh, manager, and choreographer Kayla Pemberton choreographed a really special solo, um, Imagine Dragon Dreams, um, Imagine, Imagine Dragon's Dream, um, and I really, it was a story of my life right now, and it's, it's awesome to be able to work with somebody who's also a really good friend, and uh, takes joy out of pouring into my life, and it's so awesome. What is your favorite outfit you have worn? during one of your performances? <sighs> Definitely not the shrunken toga. When I did Sylvia Potida and the 
and the dire my director in Texas, Ben Stevenson, uh, made me get a spray tan too because I was too white. But uh, my favorite was probably the blue unitard, um, Bluebird from The Sleeping Beauty. What is your favorite dance trick and can you show everyone? Favorite jan dance trick is always going to be a grand jeté, but right now, nowadays I like sea songs. If you had a soundtrack to your life, what song or songs would have to be on it? There's so many songs, um, but two in particular, what is In the Garden, and uh, My Heart Will Go On, completely different, I guess, but I really did uh, connect to my heart will go on because I know that um, my goal in life is to inspire people and to um, have a peace in my heart go on and people take, um, take something uh, away when they meet me or see me dance or if I get the privilege to teach. What charity is closest to your heart? There's not many charities. I adopted my cat, um, and uh, it was a charity in Texas, which actually ended up closing. But I will always have American Cancer Society close to the heart. My mom worked for them for uh, many years, and I did the walk, and uh, it's just a really great company, and um, I hope that someday I can do more to uh, help them. Last question. Do you have a favorite quote or saying that someone said to you that you always... Yes. Mikhail Brezhnikov uh, says, um, I don't try to be the best. I try to be better than myself yesterday. All right. Thank you, Adam. You're very welcome.